There are several options in the drop down menus in Google Docs, so let's take a look at what they look like. Let's start with File. File has your typical options such as share, you can create a new one from here, open another file, make a copy of this file or duplicate it. You can email it directly to someone. This is kind of a cool feature. If you're working on a project, you can email this file or email it as a draft if you want. And so then you don't have to download it or um, go out to your Google Drive to share it with them. This You can do it directly from here. If you want to download it, it gives you several options to download, including PDF and Microsoft Word. Make available offline. This means that you'll be able to work on it offline, and then when you connect, it will update the online version. Version history, I'll have a tutorial just on this, but this is a really cool because it tracks all changes being made and who made those changes, but we'll talk about those later. You can rename your file. You can move it to a different folder, add a shortcut to your drive, move to trash, publish to the web, which makes it like an HTML or a web page, document details, language, and page setup. And it, we'll talk about page setup later. Oops, and the last one is print. So you can print from there. Under edit, you got your typical edit options, just like you do in Microsoft Word. Undo, redo, copy, cut, paste. You can select all, find and replace. This is a cool feature because if you realize you made a mistake on a word, you can find that word and replace all of them within the document. Next is view. This is how you view your Google Docs. And so where you see the little check marks, that means those options are turned on. So for example, it says show ruler. If I click that, you'll notice that the ruler is no longer visible. And so you can turn those on and off simply by just clicking them and adding a check mark. Insert, you have your different options to insert images, tables, drawings, charts, horizontal lines, dates, a drop down menu, a footnote, building blocks, special characters, equations, watermarks, headers and footers, page numbers, page break, a link, a bookmark, and table of contents. We'll talk about table of contents in another tutorial as well because it's a really cool feature for large documents. Here are your formatting options. This is where you can adjust your text, paragraph styles, align and indent, line and paragraph spacing, columns, bullets and numbers. You can format your headers and footers here, page numbers, orientation, and you can clear all formatting too. So if you're having some issues with formatting, you can clear it and just basically start over if you need to. It just kind of cleans it up. Your tools, uh, this is where you can find your spelling and grammar, your word count. You can review suggested edits that Google gives you. Compare documents, this is where you can type in your citations, explore, link objects, dictionary, translate document. This is a cool feature. If you write something in English, for example, you can choose to translate it to another language. And it's pretty accurate. Usually if I have to do that, I'll have, uh, I'll translate it, but then I'll find someone who speaks that language and make, have them check it for edits. And it's usually very accurate, very minor changes are needed. Voice typing, that's kind of a cool feature. Script editor, preferences, accessibility settings, and activity dashboard. Add-ons, this is super cool. Um, but we'll talk about this in another, in its own video, but you can have add-ons to enhance the features of Google Docs for you. And then you have your help options as well. So if you need support with Google Docs, you can go in there.